Right, how's it going YouTube? This is the Sickest Vidmaker and here I'm going to present to you a tutorial and a step in abridging. And one of those steps is to get your footage slash media into your abridged series. Now, maybe, maybe a lot of abridgers actually just go on the internet and type in for their uh, abridge their anime and they just download it, either whether it's an MP4, AVI, uh, WMV, whatever. But this method is used by a lot of high-ranking abridgers uh, much like HBI2K and Lanny Pator, is that they take their anime and they rip it onto the computer. Now, to be fair and to warn you ahead of time, it takes up a lot of space, uh, especially per episode. Per episode, I would say, depending upon what it is, it's around 1.2, 1.3 gigs for an episode. So if you have a 25, 26 episode set, um, it's going to be about uh, 29, 30, 31 gigs taken right off. So I advise uh, picking up uh, an external DV, uh, an external drive to back it up and stuff. But if you have like something like Death Note, it's going to take up everything. So, um, so what I've done is I've downloaded did a uh, program off the internet. It's free. It's called DVD Decryptor, and it, uh, it burns off your uh, takes the footage from your DVD and puts it onto the computer. So I'm just going to go over right now. The label is Code Geass Volume Three. That's the one I have in my DVD drive right now. Uh, I have currently have it on my desktop, which is where I want it to be anyways. Um, make sure that it's the right DVD drive, of course. <laughs> uh, everything should be default as usual. Just go to IFO. Um, that's usually the one that it comes with. Um, then you're going to come over to Input here, and um, this has all the features on your DVD. Now, it's important that you know um, all the features on your DVD and the time that which they run for. Um, usually, I, I don't know based off of other DVDs, but usually it's the fourth or fifth, or it'll just open right up to it as when you pop it in. It'll open up right to the DVDs. Now, the only bad thing I can say is it doesn't have the episodes individually. So unfortunately, um, you have to click on PGC one or PGC two. This is the total the total time on your DVD. If you look on the back of your DVD, it'll tell you um, how how long it is. Um, I know at the bottom of my DVD right here it says approximately 100 minutes. So 1 hour 36 minutes is 60 plus 36, that's 96 minutes. So it's approximately 100 minutes, so that's about right. So that's everything. Then you're going to come down here, and you're going to notice that there's a bunch of chapters. There's 25 chapters uh, divided by 4 episodes on this DVD. So you can't just divide 25 by 4, because some of them might be longer or such not. So when you want to do an, uh, an episode out, um, what you want to do is you want to click on the chapter or just highlight it. You don't have to click on it. And you notice the time. It's 38 seconds point oh two. Well, you should know your episodes. You should know what comes before, during, the in you know, stuff like that. So 38 seconds. That's probably the intro to the, uh, the episode. Next one down is a minute 29. That's probably the intro, uh, the op opening song to it. Chapter 3 is 9 minutes 52 seconds, probably part 1. Chapter 4 is 1016, the second part. And chapter 5 is probably the outro. And then chapter 6 is probably the preview to the next episode. So I just want that episode done. So I'm going to click, I'm going to have everything except episode 6, up to chapter 6, um, checked. Yes, this takes a lot of time. Okay, so you got every single one done. Now you want to go to stream processing, and you just want to enable stream processing. Um, it does not matter what you do for this part, you must have that clicked. But um, it's up to you if you want to get rid of the subtitles, it doesn't really matter. Um, I, I keep them the same way on, and I do it, uh, you keep that same too, so you go back to input, and then you click this little button right here, it says decrypt. And uh, now it's going to decrypt it. Uh, the estimated time, it's usually about three minutes, I guess, depending upon your reading rate. Uh, you'll notice that right here. It changes for me every single time. It usually goes up to seven, then it'll be like four. So it changes. So um, I'm going to pause this, and uh, we'll see what ha and I'll show you what happens. All right, so it just finished um, decrypting. 
And um, as you can see um, on the desktop, is because it's where I saved it on the desktop. Uh, you see two files right here: uh, VTS050 and VT051. Um, so you're gonna notice two of them. One of them is the DVD movie info. Open that up. Slow ass computer. And then that's okay if it doesn't work. It's just it's just a stupid like text file that just like you know explains everything that just happened. So you can delete that if you want. Does I don't even know why I had that preset. Uh, but now it's VTS051. It's classified as a DVD movie. And as you notice, the size, it's 1.46 gigabytes, more than what I thought. It's probably a long episode. So click it. And I have Nero Showtime 3 on my computer that can open it. Yes, it's very slow. And you'll notice that it's playing. Yay. Here you go. Yep. So yep, uh, that's is how you get it to go on your computer. Very simple. And then you just uh, for other episodes, you just do the same thing. You look at the uh, time and just look at each episode individually. Um, there is another way to do it. I haven't tried it out myself, but um, you go into Tools Settings, uh, go to IFO mode, and then Options File Splitting. It's on Auto right now. You can do it by cell ID or VOB ID. I, I tried VOB ID, it didn't really work out that well. It just does every single thing into one file. It was like 6 gigs. I don't recommend doing that unless you really want to. Um, try cell ID. I think it might actually divide them into episodes. But um, I'm fine with just doing it by chapter. It's cool with me. Um, so that's pretty much everything you need to know about um, getting your DVD onto your computer and backing it up or using it for your bridge series. So, um, thanks for watching, and uh, this has been a tutorial by Desigas Vidmaker. I'm um, gonna go eat a sandwich now. Yum.